My name is Martha Simcoe Davies. I work at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Golan, Colorado, and I'm a research senior supervisor for the um, subcontracted R&D group within the National Center for Photovoltaics. Please describe your incubator program at NREL. So I manage the, within the subcontracted R&D group, I manage the incubator program. This incubator program funds a small startup company, small businesses, with the premise of taking a prototype to pilot scale production within the um, PV module arena. The, these subcontracts are funded through the Department of Energy and we at NREL uh, give out subcontracts. We've done three rounds of incubators. Uh, since 2007 we basically have 10 small startups every year that we bring on board with us. Um, we enable these companies not only through the subcontracts through financial resources, we give $3 million per 18 months, but we also have the um, enabling of the intellectual and the, um, the man hours at NRO, but also the equipment and um, the, we have now a process development and integration laboratory at NRO known as the PDIL, where we can actually bridge the gap between the prototype and the pilot scale production, really help these, enable these companies to um, get to um, potential of um, many megawatts in the future. What are some of the specific technical areas you're seeing in the incubating companies? So we're technology neutral, we're geographical, geographically neutral as well, and we see um, concentrators, 3-5 multi-junction concentrators, we see thin films, we see um, some unique silicon processes, um, organic photovoltaics, uh, again, completely neutral within the technology areas um, of the PV module. What's unique about your program? Well, this one is unique truly because we bring on board a group of two or three researchers who focus in that area and truly overcome some of the, the R&D hurdles and challenges that might occur trying to take these technologies to the, um, enter into the market by 2011. Will the funding remain constant or are you hoping for more in the near future? So we just received ARRA funding of $16.5 million additional to the incubator program. Um, this, um, hopefully we can stimulate um, be jobs in the future between four, if you look at the potential in terms of capacity where these companies can be, you can link that to the number of jobs and we're hoping to create between 40,000 to 40,000 jobs um, over the next several years. So these incubators show us their potential in terms of megawatts, uh, a success story, a company like a Balance Solar is currently at a capacity of 65 megawatts. They, in 18 months, not just with the incubator, they went from 200 employees up to, or sorry, they went from 20 employees or so up to over 200 employees over 18 months. And it wasn't just the incubator funding, but it was other funding. So you can start then trying to collect data in terms of megawatts and link that to the number of jobs in the future. How can interested companies get involved? So we have a solicitation out uh, for letters of interest every year, uh, usually in the springtime, and um, anybody can apply in. You just have to be a small business. What kind of progress have you seen in the SPIE Solar Energy and Technology Conferences? So I just want to comment that SPIE is, is such a professional organization. Um, there's been significant growth in terms of the solar since I've come on board, I think because of the uh, SPIE professionalism, but also because of the growing interest within solar uh, today, we're starting to see um, new conferences come on board, such as the um, Thin Films, Reliability, and we're really growing on um, some of the original ideas, but really trying to grasp the whole growing te uh, technology uh, today.